Hey there, I'm Sky, and this is some new video, I guess. It's probably going to go up the same day as my Rook Sonic opinions, because uh, we got another new card, and I thought we might as well go over all the new cards so far. I know I said it is small, but bugger, I'm doing it today. Uh, well, it might take, it might take tomorrow, because I'm doing some fancy editing. There will be cards in the here, which with descriptions and shit. Cool. Anyway, let's begin. So, the first card announced for the Rush Road set, if you don't already know, was... Well, Seven Sword Edition, obviously, along with Rush Dragon Drag Years. This is is that really a surprise? I don't think it is. Uh, then we have Brave of Dawn, uh, Line Across, who is a level seven warrior type, late warrior type with an attack of twenty one hundred and a defense of fifteen hundred. Uh, its a requirement is it has a requirement of return two spellcaster monsters, turn two monsters spellcaster types from graveyard to the deck to activate. Special summon two level five or lower spellcasters from your hand to your city field in face up position. So face up, face up, face position. You can summon some. It, it works. It's good for recycling if you want long cards, which I know this game probably will have somewhat of a problem with, unless you want sixty cards. So yeah, I don't see a problem with that. That seems perfectly reasonable. And then match with a level seven earth warrior type monster of twenty four hundred attack and fourteen hundred defense. Uh, no type. It's it's a beat stick. That's currently that's pretty much all it is, just a beat stick. Which with some more cards coming up in this video, we should find out some good. Uh it's not bad. It's just normal type monsters seem to be kind of fairly prevalent in this the opening stages of this new format of Rush Drills. So that seems reasonable and uh, yeah, level seven, that's fairly easy to get out Rush Drills these days. So yeah, I don't see a problem with that. Uh Let's see, next new card would be uh, Piercing. So this card, Piercing, it, well as it says, Piercing. Uh, spell requirement, none, so you can just activate it. Uh, it's like one face of monster you control during this turn if it attacks opponent. When it attacks the defense position monster, inflicts piercing damage equal to how much the attack is higher than it is. We know what Piercing is, it just gives a card for a turn Piercing. That could be paired well, really well with a... Uh, sorry. That could be paired well with Rush Dragon Drag Ears. It could be paired well, pretty damn well, I think. Yeah, d pretty damn well with, uh, if you've got a few, few monsters in your graveyard, it could, be, it could be paired pretty damn well with Seven Sword Magician. So, yeah, I don't, this is, it's a, for the cards we've got available so far, pretty damn decent. I don't see many problems with that. It's got no requirements. It's just piercing. Done. So, yeah, good card. Uh, next, after that, move on to the next page. Uh, we have One Side Flip. This is a new card announced today. Uh, there may be new cards announced today, so if that if I do find that case, I might record a little after segment in which we talk over it. But in this case, One Side Flip, as the YGO organization promptly states, it's a weaker stop defense. If your opponent controls two face up defense position monsters, put one on the face up attack position. Yeah, it's a weaker stop defense, but again. I guess it has its uses. We're going to be selling a lot of monsters probably in this game, so it might get some basic use in casual play. I don't see much use competitively, um, but to be fair, it doesn't cost you anything. It just means your opponent has to have cards. So who knows? I don't. It it's a thing. It's an option. It could be good if your opponent's really defensive. I. It's. It just doesn't seem too great, but at the same time. We can't really be holding cards to the same standard as main game because main game's been going on for like what for quite a few years, fifteen years or so, I think. It's it's been going on for a while. We can't really put it to the same standard when this is literally a brand new game, so I will hold my reservations on this card and maybe do a couple tests with that when I get the card. If I if I pull the card, I'll do a couple tests with it, see what happens, uh, see if it's any use. Because I will almost be I'll almost undoubtedly modify the decks with the cards I get. Next up is a card I saw yesterday which made me want to do this video, uh, which is Recovery Force. This was released yesterday, uh, so probably around the time I was making this video, because I did see this. Uh, Recovery Force. You can shuffle, you can activate this card, so the requirement is you can activate this card by shuffling three spellcasting monsters from your graveyard to your deck, and the effect is draw one card. It's a draw card, and a I would say for Rush Duels, a damn good one so far. Um, simply put, if it has 
it recycles cards into your deck, which is good for, well, some book cards. It means you get more cards and you last longer. Because, again, that's not for my seat. For seat with Brush Duels is, especially down the line, if, especially down the line, you're going to need a lot more cards like this because as things get crazier, more searching and stuff, it's likely we're going to need some form of deck recycling. So, yeah, this is it's pretty good. I, I don't mind this. I think that I, I almost definitely will run it if I get it. So, yeah. Next card would be one up. Some put activist card when a monster is destroyed by an attack or by an opponent's card effect. And you can select one normal monster from your graveyard and special summon it. What else is there to say? It's basically, uh, oh, I'm thinking of it. This is the card I'm thinking of. I think it's like a. I can't remember. The, is it like Soul Warp? Is it Soul Warp or Warp of Life? There's a card like that. That you can summon a normal monster when a monster is destroyed. I don't know if it's that card, and I think it's a bit different because I don't like card. I think if it's more probably thinking of, I think that card summons the same monster back. But yeah, this it, it, it has uses, I guess. Good thing is you summon face up defense position or face up attack position. So say if you had uh, washed your blue eyes and that's you gave it somehow, say you've sent it to the hand of the card effect, bring it back out, you've got blue eyes immediately. So yeah, it's okay. Uh, next up we have Also hopefully you can see that I have the cards here with the description probably about here uh, Next up is Salmon King Beetle uh, Salmon King Beetle It's a level 6 dark insect type monster Okay uh, 1700 attack 200 defense Pretty average stats for this game so far uh, In fact this might be a bit better in terms of attack for level Sixes I've seen I think I think most of them are on fifteen to seventeen. It's it's a bit of a better range. Uh, you can activate this card by sending the top card of your deck to your graveyard. So one face of monster you control gets a hundred attack times the number of monsters level one in your graveyard. So for every level one monster, in your, so for every level one monster in your graveyard, uh, this card uh, one monster you control gains a hundred attack. That that's. This seems to be a few level of monsters. I haven't seen that many, so I think it's like two maybe. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, I think it was like Pam Top Dragon and uh, Familiar, Straight Familiar, or whatever. It it'll have uses, I'm sure, for some decks down the line. Uh, but right now, I don't. I just don't see much use for it in the current stage because hundred attack for every monster who's level one. It's all until the end of the turn. I don't see that having much particular use currently. But yeah, as I was, I was saying, Stray Familiar and Palm Size Dragon, they can use it, I guess. Again, I don't see much particular good use of it. Uh, unless we get a lot more level 1s, but who knows. Next up is Gust. Uh, track card requirement when you activate this card, when you. Oh, sorry. You can activate this card when a spell card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect. Target one spell trap card on the field, destroy it. It's Dust Tornado. But when one of your spell cards is destroyed. So, that's that's interesting, I guess. So, say your opponent activates Magical... Was it Magical Stream? Or... Was it Dragonic Flame or something? I can actually go back and check, it's on the same page. Fire Dragon's Heat Flash or Magic Stream. They can pull that off, I guess. I keep getting here with this, he's crazy. Yeah, it's Dust to Dino. That, that'll, that it's, I guess that's fine for current game. Uh, and that may be all the cards. Checking quickly for this page. And yeah. That's all the cards for. That's all the cards announced as of currently, which is 3rd of May, about 12 o'clock, so at UK time, so yeah, that's, yeah, I don't see much problem with that, so I'll see you guys later. Have fun, and if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and let me know if this uh, format or the cards being shown up here is any better, so 